Right. As a base man, this is the only part of the day that I have been dreading. <laughs> Unfortunately, everybody who knows me is probably feeling exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to start by saying how beautiful my sister Tori looks today, along with her bridesmaids. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that, that this is a slightly different scenario to the time that Tori and Chloe used to dress up in um, bridesmaids dresses and the videos. Considering how relaxed Tori was about today, um, I'm surprised she hasn't turned up in her pyjamas like she <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to thank all the staff for um, how wonderful the wedding has been and how aesthetically beautiful this room looks. Yes. Um, I hope they are prepared for, I, I, hope, I hope they have prepared the bride and groom's room for later. <laughs> placing plastic sheets on the floor. <laughs> um, it's not what you're thinking, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason I say this is because the groom, my lovely brother, has a tendency to be where he pleases after he's had a skin <laughs> Hopefully tonight he doesn't feel the need to um, pull one of his extravagant water fountain displays for his own. <laughs> I will always remember the moment me, my mother and my father were sat in the living room, minding our own business, and all of a sudden, the sound of rain approached. <laughs> <laughs> Checking outside and seeing there was no rain. <laughs> we were all confused as to what the noise was coming from. All of a sudden, my mum lets out the loudest screech you could ever hear. Daniel! <laughs> As I come running into the hallway, there is Dan, my brother, stark bollock naked, buzzing down the steps. <laughs> the strange thing was, when consciousness hit, he seemed very pleased with himself. <laughs> so recently as a group, for Dan and Tori's Stag and Hendy, um, we went to Latitude Festival, which may I say was an event in its own. Thanks for the caffeine tablets, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and to be honest, I thank everybody who came. It was really nice to see all of you there. Um, now, Dan had, does have a thing for festivals. Thankfully, this time he did not return with a tattoo or a new one eyebrow. Um, what, what some of you may not know, Dan does have a very interesting tattoo on his back. This being a gazebo. The worst part of this tattoo is the initials of his friends he has scribed above the gazebo. This scribes OCD. <laughs> Confusing in itself as Dan is uh, so far from obsessing over cleaning. Um, I remember when he still lived at home, he couldn't keep his room clean for longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> the sweet smell of kebabs and alcohol from the night before lingering across all the way. Um, certainly don't miss having you at home, mate. <laughs> um, today I was hoping for maybe some bouncy castles or a trampoline, but I'm pleased to say safety precautions have been taken as Tori is one for an accident here and there. <laughs> I'll recall a memory to a time her and Freya um, were attempting to pull off the stunt of the century. Climbing on top of the shed, the pair of them were preparing for the leap of faith. As they jumped, as they jumped from the shed, they met the trampoline together with the adrenaline pumping. They nearly completed the jump, and all of a sudden, off lies Tori into a fire. <laughs> I must admit, though, had they planned it perfectly, they could have both featured on the "You've Been Framed and Got the Money" rewards. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, Tori has been a fantastic part of my life and I am so pleased I can refer to her as my sister now. And Dan, what can I say, mate? You've been a massive part of my life and have been a role model since day one, teaching me everything I need to know. I love you both, and I hope the future holds great memories. Can you all raise a glass for the new Mr. and Mrs. King? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. King. Mr. and Mrs. King. Oh, Jesus, I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Three. 